Good evening, and welcome to Mystery for another exciting adventure of Sherlock Holmes. I'm Vincent Price. Owing to the nature of his profession, Holmes had frequent contact with the police forces of the world. Watson tells us that he had a number of favorite pranks that he liked to pull on the official detectives that he was sometimes forced to work with. One was deliberately pointing out clues but neglecting to explain their significance. Holmes's favorite dupe at Scotland Yard was Inspector Lestrade, who took a patronizing attitude towards Holmes's methods, but nonetheless consulted the great detective in a number of cases, including tonight's Adventure of the Norwood Builder. We tend to take fingerprinting for granted, but in the 1880s, when tonight's story takes place, fingerprinting as a means of criminal detection was still in its infancy and looked upon by many with great skepticism. The accepted method of criminal identification in Holmes's time was the Bertillon system, which consisted of a series of body measurements. It was not until 1900 that fingerprinting became the official criminal identification system in Britain. And even then, the British police were among the first forces to employ it. At the uh, end of tonight's episode, Watson says of his friend, his work is his own reward. And Holmes himself often repeated that he worked rather for the love of his art than for the acquirement of wealth. My professional charges are upon a fixed scale, Holmes once told a client. I do not vary them save when I remit them altogether. He was able to be so generous on occasion because a few of his cases did yield rather high fees. Rewards of 1,000 pounds were offered for the return of the missing piece of the barrel coronet and for the Countess of Morcar's blue carbuncle. And Holmes received the same amount in expense money from the King of Bohemia for taking care of his scandal. I think that we can safely say he managed. Next week, Holmes comes to the aid of a young woman who has no money, but who hesitates to take a governess position because of some strange circumstances. I know that you'll want to join me for the Adventure of the Copper Beaches. Until then, for mystery, I'm Vincent Price. Good night.